boxing's best, purest punchers. Um, he's a very good boxer, a very good technician. He, one of those special punchers that can hurt a fighter with any shot. I mean, he can stagger a guy with a stiff jab. He can drop a dude with a short hook. He knocks guys into the ropes or to the canvas with a straight right. When he puts punches together, um, he wreaks havoc, especially when he attacks the body. He ends fights. I'm very hopeful that he can recapture his mojo. Um, I think the first step is going to a higher weight class. And then I think the next step was, was reuniting, reuniting with uh, Robert Garcia and, and going back to Riverside, California, because um, that's where he's looked his best. There will be no shortage of um, formidable opponents for him, because I think the fighters who have made their home at 154 pounds for years, maybe their whole careers, they're gonna be licking their chops at um, somebody coming up from welterweight and somebody with a name like, like Virgil Ortiz Jr. They're gonna look at that undefeated record um, and that 100% that KO ratio and say like, I wanna make my name by beating the knockout artist. So I think there's gonna be a lot of junior middleweight contenders who are gonna be willing to step in the ring with him, which I don't think was the case at welterweight. I think at welterweight, he scared guys. We want the, the type of matchups that are gonna produce excitement. And that's the great thing about Ortiz Jr. is that you could put him in there with a stick and move guy, he's gonna run him down. And you put him in there with a fellow gunslinger and guess what, you're gonna get a shootout. So um, it's really up to Virgil to remind everybody just how special he is.